Hey guys, Alex here, and today I'm going to show you how to change the Red Sea reef mat roll in sump in a cabinet. In the Red Sea marketing video, they show you how to do so, but it was done on a desk so it was easy to film. So now I'm going to show you if it's actually easy to do when the reef mat is in place in your sump and you've got to get in your cabinet. Now for the purposes of this video, I've set the reef mat up as it will be on most tanks, which is hanging on the front of the sump on the right hand side, which is where the overflow pipes come down. On my tank, when it's set up properly, it will actually be in the far corner. So when I come to do the full review video, I'll show you how easy it is to do if you've got to reach all the way to the back of the cabinet too. But given most people will have this set up at the front of their Red Sea tanks, that's what I'm gonna look at today. Are you ready? Let's get stuck in. Now I've only had this for a couple of days, so it hasn't gone through a whole roll yet, of course. So I put a brand new roll on the exit bit, but this is where the old roll would normally be. And for the purposes of this video, I'm going for the nightmare scenario where you forget that your filter roll has ended and then you've got to do the whole thing again. On my current filter rollers, the Clarisy SK3000 and the X-Filter 1.0, if you forget and it goes all the way through, it's an absolute pain in the backside. So I always try to catch it before it goes right through to the end so I can staple the new roll onto the old one. Let's see what it's like on the Red Sea. So first stage then, I have to lift this up. Pull that forward, and this is where the new roll will sit. There's a little guide rail that goes there, I'll put to one side. Then I have to get rid of the old roll, of course. Actually, those clips are normally in the up position, so to get rid of the old roll, take them down, whip that out, and then twist these, there we go, twist that off, pull the end off, and then this roll is normally brown, of course, and covered in crud, so you chuck it away. Uh, you then clip this back in place, screw that bit on the end, it just takes a half turn and put it back in place. Now I should say this is the first time I'm actually doing this. I've watched the how-to video uh, a couple of times, but first time I've ever, I've ever actually done it. Then with the new one, what you need to do is put it on the entrance grippy thing. So you twist that off, you put the new roll on there, and then screw that bit back on at the other end. Have I got that the right way around? Yeah, I have. Give that a good old turn. And there we go, nice and firm in place. There's a little resting point here for the, uh, the fleece, the new fleece, so I'll put that there out of the way. Now I need to get into the sump, and this is the bit that I thought looked a little bit awkward, but now I've got it in place, I think it might be easy. I've just got to remove the basket and then uh, thread this through. Let's have a look. So you put your arm in, my hand is wet, but it's fine. You put your arm in, you twist the little basket off. It's a little tiny bit fiddly to get this out, uh, on the smaller reef mat anyway, but this is the bit that you want to get out. So you get that out, put it out of the way, and I'll chuck it on my towel down there, and then you put the new roll through this bit, there we go. That threads through the middle of the middle of this thing here, basically. And in fact, I'm starting to think you might need to take this out to do this. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. So thread that through there, and then turn it around a few times until it grips. There we go. It is now gripped, nice and easy. Put that back on. Turn the clips back up. Then. We have to use this thing. So you just pop the little clips out, which is quite easy. You put this, the base plate underneath the reef, uh, the fleece, put this on top, clip it into place. Nice and easy, is that in place? Yep. And then you need to push this down in here. So that's going back down. I need a little bit more slack on the fleece. Push that down into place, twist it 180 degrees again. Ooh, twist it 180 degrees, and that's in place. Now, we're pretty much done to be fair. I've got to put the guide rail back in, which goes on there. This then goes, tie that up, Whoop, goes into place there, and that's it. Easy as pie. For me then, that was an absolute piece of cake and much easier than I thought it looked in the clips. However, We'll see how it is when I've got the reef mat set up right in the far corner. 
I think it'll actually still be pretty easy. But I'll come back and do a review for that on the main Reef Talk channel in a couple of weeks, so make sure you're subscribed to both Reef Talk and Reef Talk Extras. And if you've got any questions, chuck them in the comments section below. And until next time, happy reefing.